Sensori is a psychological thriller. It's my first feature film as a director. It's a movie about uh, loneliness, losing something, someone, and it's a movie about belonging. So it's a movie about all these universal themes that I placed in a, in a psychological thriller with a supernatural theme. Uh, me and my uh, writing partner, we had a couple of scripts in English that we tried to get made. But always in the end, it came up, you know, you haven't directed a movie, so the last part of the financing never happened. So two years ago, me and my writing partner sat down and we said, you know, let's write something in Swedish, first of all. Uh, let's write something that we could produce ourselves. Uh, the biggest challenge in casting was for the girl, of course. We met 20 children between the, the uh, girls, between the age of 7 and uh, 10. Also the main part, Lana Olsson, who plays the lead. That was also a big casting to find the right woman to portray this vulnerable but very strong woman. I've been, for the last 10 years, I've been the coordinator of the Euro European Fantastic Film Festival's Federation. And that's a network of some of the most prominent genre film festivals in the world. They decided to cooperate and work together, and that was the start of the federation that we have today. Sharing information, sharing guests, uh, you know, exchanging information basically, that's how it started. Part of being the coordinator is to coordinate and facilitate the information between all these festivals. At the moment there's 22 film festivals. There's, right now there's, there's a lot of movies that are you know, too much focused on the shock value of the cinema, you know, they're super bloody or super, you know, something to the extreme. I hope that cinema will go back a little bit and focus more on the story, you know, even genre movie, because I think if you have strong, everything needs to have strong characters and strong story around it, and then you can put the story, you know, around that. It doesn't always have to be the bloodiest or the most extreme or, or, or whatever. Let the Right One In is a very special movie for me personally. First of all, I think it's the best Swedish film in the last 20 years. I also think it's one of the better, you know, genre films the last 20 years, period. It's a movie that perfectly kind of blends mainstream art house, you know, with genre. It's a movie, once again, that focuses on story and character, and the vampire theme, it's not the goal, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a way to reach the goal.